Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hey, hello, how's it going? My name's Meg. Uh, we do crafty things here, so if you like crafty things, please consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so, so much for tuning into another video and for subscribing. I really, really do appreciate it. And our numbers have been going up crazy on YouTube and on Instagram, so Thank you so much for spreading the word about the channel and just, I see on bracelet book and stuff in the forums, people mentioning my channel and that makes me so happy. So thank you so much for that. But today I'm doing another requested video. I did a how long does it take to make video where I um, basically timed how long it takes to make a bracelet. And I thought it would be like a fun series. And if any of you guys had recommendations for patterns that we could do, I thought it would be fun. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a bit so you don't have to look at my tripod so much. Um, so one of you did contact me on bracelet book. Um, Bunny Knots contacted me and she asked me if I could do a diamonds and candy stripe, how long does it take to make? So we're going to go ahead and do that today. So. We need three colors. Mm. Yeah, we'll do like a gradient pink. Because why not? So if you guys watched that last, how long does it take to make video? I feel like it was a good one to start with because we did just a basic chevron, but that gave us a pretty good baseline, I feel like. So how this works, I guess how long, I make a guess at how long it'll take me to make the bracelet. And then I try to make it like as fast as possible to see how long it actually takes to make. So I feel like the chevron was a really good one to start with because it's a great basic pattern. And I feel like that one, um, I'll put it in the cards for you if you haven't seen it, you can check that out if you're interested, but that one took us 50 minutes. I believe and like 30 seconds or something like that so I feel like for this one what should my guess be I feel like we're gonna be just over an hour I feel like it's gonna be like hour 15 just because like the candy stripes are easy but there's a lot of drop and pick up strings with these diamonds and this is not a pattern that I have done a ton so I feel like there may be opportunity for screw up here. So here we go. I have my phone all charged up and ready to go this time. I'm like last time where it was like unplugging and I was like in the middle of it. Oh, I'm nervous about this. So yeah, my guess is probably an hour 15. An hour 15 or an hour 20. That's my guess going into this. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, let's just jump into it. And here we go. The time has started. And I may have sabotaged myself on this because as you can see, I have taped the safety pin to the front of this journal. My method of anchoring could also pooch us in this. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're already over a minute and I don't even have the first row down. Yikes. So, how is everyone's October been? I guess we're just, just starting October. Like, wow. So how has everyone's fall been? Maybe that's better to say. Everyone's been in school for a while now. We're coming up, if you're in Canada, Thanksgiving is this month, and also Halloween. Do you guys celebrate Halloween? If you do, are you dressing up? And what are you dressing up as? Let me know. I don't know if I'm gonna dress up or not. It's my daughter's first Halloween, so we're gonna dress her up as something. I don't really know yet, but um, if it ends up being like there's a cool family costume we could do, we might do that. But otherwise, I probably won't dress up. 
um, we might just take her around to a couple places during the day and then um, at night probably just, I don't know, hand out candy. This is the row with our first diamond, and I'm so nervous that I'm going to screw this up. Okay, now I feel like I'm getting in the groove a bit. Has anyone been listening to any good audiobooks, watching any good TV shows or anything? I have finally found a podcast that I actually am really enjoying and it's called Potterless and it's about a guy in his 20s who has never read Harry Potter or watched all of the movies and he basically lays out his prediction for what's going to happen in these books and then reads them and every like few chapters he has someone in the Potter fandom come on and they discuss like a couple chapters of it kind of in detail and it's really snarky and funny um especially because like he gets things mixed up where he's seen like the first couple movies and it's like he pretty much has like Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets completely mixed up and it's just it's really quite funny and there's also some good points that like me as someone who just has always loved Harry Potter that I don't really think about, like the flaws in Quidditch. I just think Quidditch is so cool. So to me, I was just like, wow, this is amazing. When I read about Quidditch, cause I'm just like, oh, this whole magical world. But he like breaks it down cause he really likes sports and he's like, this is such a flawed sport and just stuff like that. And I think it's really funny. So if you guys haven't uh, listened to that before, I am actually enjoying it. It's the first podcast I've listened to as many episodes as I have on. I think I'm on like, I'm already into Goblet of Fire, his breakdowns, and he does for the first couple books, I think it's like every two to three chapters he has someone in. So I'm actually pretty stoked about that. And other than that, I also listened to another um, Naomi Novik book. I had read one I don't know, like my May, June wrap up, I think I had read or listened to rather Spinning Silver and I was like, oh, it's so good. And I had downloaded another Naomi Novik book and this one was Uprooted. And again, so, so good. Just so, so good. Definitely, if you're into fantasy, check out Naomi Novik because those two books were killer. So yeah, have you guys listened to anything? Let me know. The other thing that I've been watching, and I know it's like a cartoon, is Carmen San Diego. And I don't know, I just I really like it for some reason. Okay, so our first diamond is done, and we're coming up on nine minutes. I feel like that's not too, too bad. Also, while on the talk of, well, I guess we're not really on the talk of, but at the start of the video, I was talking about how you guys have been like crushing the subscribe and follow numbers. And oh my gosh, I have an Instagram picture of some chevrons. Ah, no, I've already screwed this up. I was supposed to start my diamond this row. No, we're losing time. We're losing time. No, 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 no. Hold on guys, I'll pick up that thought in a second. No. Too busy talking. Gosh dang it. 
Eh, 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 eh. No, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, some side crying. So, um, I have one picture on Instagram and it has boggled my mind because out of all of the things that I have made and that you guys have seen in like my wrap ups and stuff, like there's pictures of that stuff on Instagram and out of all of the things I made, it's a post of Chevron bracelets that seems to have blown up and it just, I'm like, what? It's, and when I say blown up guys, I don't mean like a couple hundred likes. I mean like over 5,000 likes on this picture and for the life of me, I can't figure out why. Like, I mean, yeah, they're, they're nice chevrons, but what? <laughs> I think my guess might be way off. I didn't really take into account how much, um, I guess this isn't wider though, is it? I didn't really take into account that this bracelet is wider than the chevrons. And the fact that I was probably doomed to make mistakes, but there you are. Even someone who's been nodding a long time will make mistakes and have to pick them out. This color combo it's giving me like Valentine's vibes but I think it looks really cute I feel like I haven't been giving the pinks a lot of love just because this pack of string didn't have a lot of pinks that I like liked the tones of we've hit 20 minutes and I've done three diamonds the bracelet that I showed at the beginning has 11 diamonds on it. So I th think now that I'm into it a little bit, I think my guess might be fairly accurate, but we will see. Hopefully I don't slow down too much here in the middle, which is what happened with the Chevron last time. butchered that. That was already knotted on. My gosh, stupid mistake. Okay, at least I didn't do like three more knots before I noticed. sweating so much I know you guys definitely really need to know that but it's that weird time of the year right now where during the day it gets up to like 10 but at night it drops down to like below zero so you set the temperature 
to one temperature at night and then come daytime, it's really hot, but then it takes so long to heat back up if you turn it down that you're better off to just sweat it out during the day. And I can feel myself slowing down here, just like last time. No! We've just passed 30 minutes here and we're about halfway done. There's like 11 diamonds on the bracelet I showed there at the beginning and I feel like that's a acceptable length to make this to. up again ah. okay pause for a second I just want to oh okay there we go we can really I thought for a second, I was like, yikes, my knots have been so inconsistent that this is like curling, but it's, it's okay. Side note, this is where we are at 36 minutes. So we have six diamonds done. So we are over halfway now. We're at 36 minutes. So I think that would put us at an hour 12. So we'd be like bang on if I keep up this pace for the rest of the bracelet. Okay, so it is literally the next day because um, my baby woke up and the next nap wasn't until like evening. So uh, the light was too bad to film. So we have lost all momentum on this, which could be a game changer. So I figured since we're paused already, we'll take this time to kind of check in on where we are. So right now we're at 41 minutes and we've got seven diamonds done and just a reminder this had 11 i believe three six nine yeah so we have 11 diamonds on this one which i feel like is like a decent length so we'll see how long our strings get us if we can get a 12th in there then that may be better but right now i'm feeling pretty good about this. If we can pick up the pace to where we had it yesterday, I think we will be good. Here we go. I'm going to move this coffee before I knock it off the table. Okay. Try again. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm off to a very like, you know, when you just start nodding for the day like you haven't done any knots or anything and you just start and you feel like your fingers are kind of fumbly <sighs> that's how i'm kind of feeling right now until we get the momentum going again which kills me i'm so mad we lost the momentum but what can you do what can you do Hold up. Mm. Oh my gosh, Megan. 
you're an idiot. Okay, well, I have to keep the time rolling. I didn't finish my last line and I just started another one. I was like, why is this, what is going on? Why is this string in the spot it's in? That's why. Dummy didn't actually look at her pattern before she started knotting. <laughs> okay, at least I just have to undo that one knot and I can finish out this line and then carry on with the next one. And I screwed up again. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the day we're having. Yikes. Yikes, fam. I might have to readjust my guess here. Dang. Okay. Also, last night, Instagram, we broke 500 followers, and it's literally only been like four days since we broke 400. So when I say we're crushing it, it's actually insane. The numbers are going up quicker than I ever thought they could, and to more than I ever thought they would. Like quite honestly, when I hit like 100, I was like, oh my gosh, yay, like this is so exciting. And we're way past that now, it's crazy. Shane Dawson. I've actually never watched any of his videos, but the uh, Jeffree Star trailer that came out looked really interesting. So I actually watched that first um, episode, I guess, yesterday, and it was pretty cool. But I never watched the old Jeffree Star one, so I started watching that, and I'm really enjoying it. So if you guys, what YouTubers do you guys watch? I guess is what I'm getting at. What am I doing? Oh boy. We are not doing good here. <laughs> All of yesterday's momentum is gone. My fingers are like extra fumbly today. I feel like I should have practiced nodding before I came on the video. Like this is just, oh, that is, mm. okay. Well, we this bracelet will not be going for sale. <laughs> this will just be put in the collection because it is looking kind of rough. You can definitely see some tension changes in there. Okay, we're coming up on 50 minutes and I've only completed one more diamond. Yikes. And I screwed it up again. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where are we at? 50 minutes. We're on the eighth. diamond okay depending on how long this takes me to undo all this and fix this man I am just not doing good today should have just <laughs> not recorded today <laughs> still going to stick with my estimate. I still think an hour 15. I think yesterday I was going pretty good, pretty quick, and that made up some time. Um, it went better than I thought. And today is just, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I 
And again, I think part of the trick behind this one is this is not a pattern I've done a ton. And I get carried away with like the candy stripe aspect of it and forget to switch into the diamonds. That's the thing that I have found with making this the few times I have in the past. But it is a really simple, cute little pattern. So if you're not trying to knot a million miles an hour, this is a good pattern for kind of like beginners. If you're sick of chevrons and candy stripes sort of thing, this is a fun one that kind of combines some things, but it's not too difficult. Also, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted in my stories last night my like the big work in progress that I've been working on on my own time. Oh yikes, honey, we popped the. <sighs> and I got a whole bunch of DMs from you guys responding to that, and so basically I'm working on knotting a bag. So obviously I'll show you guys on here when it's done, but if you guys would be at all interested, if it turns out, if you guys would be at all interested in a tutorial series on knotting a bag, let me know down below your thoughts on that. So. My only concern is I don't want, like it would be very difficult for me at this point to do more than one upload a week. And I just don't know how you guys would feel if that took up a couple weeks of video. Cause I think it would be a little too long to be just one video. But would you guys be upset if I, like first of all, if you guys even want it. But if you guys wanted it, would you be terribly upset if it took up two weeks of uploads, like a part one, part two? tenth diamond here and some of our strings are starting to get short so I think 11 is probably as far as we're going to go and so I think my guess was actually really good dang okay despite all the screw ups. If I hadn't have screwed up so much, we might have actually been like decently under time. Three, six, nine, ten. Okay, this is the last diamond. This is exciting. We're on an hour, three minutes. Oh, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. We have reached 11 diamonds now. So we're just gonna do two lines of straight up candy stripe to finish this off and then braid it. I think we might actually be like coming in just, just at time or just below it, which is after all the mistakes I made, I'm surprised. And I was really, 
I had accounted in there, like, like I said at the start, I was like, I haven't made this pattern a lot. I will probably make mistakes. So I'm glad that I accounted for that. Okay, and then I discovered last time that the most difficult part about all of this is trying to braid your ends while it's attached to the book because the book really wants to slide. So I'm going to try and pin this down. Okay, it's kind of hooked on the tripod. I just won't pull super hard. And boop, there you have it. It is certainly not my most consistent work. I feel like from a distance, it doesn't look terrible, but I'll show you guys the real tea here. Like if I put it out here, it really doesn't show on camera that much, but in here, it's definitely a little more bumpy. You can see there's a bit of a space and a string there. And there's definitely like, it's much more stiff down this end of the bracelet than up here. So there's definitely some inconsistencies. This is a bracelet, like I said, this will not be for sale. This will just go in my um, collection. But there you have it, a candy stripes and diamonds bracelet. And it took me an hour and 11 minutes. So with even with all those mistakes, having to stop in the middle and come back the next day, I was still under time. And you can definitely see that this one is much straighter when there's something to compare it to. You can see like in here, you can see the diamonds are more consistently shaped on this one than on this one. So I just think that's fun to look at. It's frumpy in here too, but there you have it guys. That's candy stripes and diamonds bracelet. And it took an hour and 11 minutes to make. So if you guys try this at home with this pattern, let me know what time you got. Um, and if you have another pattern you want me to try, definitely leave the pattern in the comments below and I will give it a try. I think this is kind of fun to just see how long it takes to make. Uh, different patterns because everyone's at different stages and stuff and um, I just think it's really cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a, a thumbs up and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!